or have placed is just a standard old designer chair. So nothing particularly special, straight out of the library, standard object. What we can do with it is actually pick it up, we have a tools option here, and we can rotate. So I can say, take that point, from there, let's spin it around just at a rough angle. And what you'll see is the projection now changes, and we're looking at the projected plan view now that this thing's been rotated by whatever angle I happen to choose. So if we select it again, have another look at 3D, you can see it's now tilting backwards. Another option for this is rather than rotate it in a plan view, is let's switch to an elevation. So here's a coloured elevation, similar chair, and what I'm going to do is select it again, use exactly the same command, and we're going to rotate it here, and we'll spin it around so you go 56 degrees. And you can see straight away how it's spun around. So we're not restricted to work just in plan view. As well as rotating, we can also split objects. So we can actually go in here, split. I can just define a line at random here through this component. Obviously, you can do it more precisely. Choose a side to keep selected. And then simply drag it out of the way. And what I actually end up with is two chairs. But the really key thing to this is I can pick this one up and even though I've chopped it up, it's not a morph, it's, it's not converted into anything else, it's still a chair. I can actually come in here, we can go to the surfaces and let's just make some changes. So I'm just randomly picking other colours to see how this might appear. Let's make that bright yellow. Okay that. And now you can see we have this truly wonderful chair. The other thing we can do is, if we've decided to chop something up and make a real mess of it, at any point in time, I can select them. And we can tell it to remove the cuts. And what that does is revert it back to its original object type. So that's a big advantage over using something like the Morph tool in standard ArchiCAD, because with the Morph tool, 